and from the Amorites and from the from the children of Ammon and from the Philistines. The Lord deliver you from the Egyptians, the Amorites, the Philistines, and you just want to go back into serving other nations and other gods all over again. Read on. The Zidonians and the Amalekites. The and Zidonians the and the Amalekites. The Amalekites. Amalek is these Jewish people today, man. That's who you serve in the ancient time. Right? Oh, that's like it. That's who the Lord delivered you from, so like in ancient time. Man. Because them, these like, Amalekites, they tried to kill off the weak of our nation. They went behind to, to, to kill the women and children, man. The feeble, man. That's how they tied. So they, they was attacking us when we came out of Egypt, man. But uh, read on. The Lord's got something for them anyway, but read on. And the, Ma and the Maronites, it oppressed The what them. next? The, the Ma Ma Maronites. What? Let me get rid of this. Maronites. Moanites, Mo Moanites, Moan, Moan, Ma Mahon, Mahon, no, read on, read on this. Moanites, <laughs> did oppress you, and ye cried to me, and I delivered you out of their hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we cried to the Lord, man, he, he would deliver us. How's it, and guess what, are you crying now? God damn, like blacks and Spanish and native, are you not crying now? You're weeping in yourself, you just not, we don't tell people our, 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 our situation, we suffer in silence. And, you, and, and guess what? They tell you not to do that. On this world, so, this world say, don't suffer in silence. Come and tell us your problems. Listen, don't tell them your problems. Don't tell the heathens your problems. Come bring your problems to the highest you became, the men of right. the Lord. You understand? The heathens are already, they're the one that causing you. If you understand, they are causing you to have that problem. They are the reason why you've got that problem. Your oppressors have oppressed you so much. They create the problems, then they come with the solutions. I can go to the oppressors for what, man? For what, man? What are you going to do for me? What have you done for me apart from oppress my forefathers and mothers and destroy them and rape and rob and murder them? And now you're going to help me? Well, you, you're not, you, ain't, you ain't never done nothing for me, man. You understand? So, yeah, I put your trust in the Lord, man. God, sure. Read on, read on. Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Mm. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. The Lord said he ain't going to deliver you no more. You put in your... Read the bit, because wherefore what? You have forsaken me and served other gods. You have forsaken the Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. You have forsaken the God that delivered you out of bondage. And you have served other gods, man. Therefore what? Wherefore I will deliver you no more. And so the Lord... Some of our people, the Lord ain't going to bother... That this truth's going out. And the Lord just, some of them are going to hear it and they're still going to walk by and do whatever they And the Lord's going to, when they cry, they're going to come a time, they're going to cry to the Lord. Man. And, and it's in the Bible, man. The Lord says, what? They should cry unto me, but I will not hear them, man. Paraphrase it, man. One day they're going to cry to the Lord and the Lord's not going to hear them. You know why? Because the Lord said, I sent my prophets out there, man. I sent them to wake you up and tell you this and, and you turn your back on them. What do you think the Lord's going to do? He said, I shall mock when your fear come and fast it. When your fear coming for a desolation, man. Right? A desolation. The Lord's going to mock at you, man. Why? Because you're mocking him. When you think you're mocking his prophets, so or you're walking by and you're, ah, you're racist, ah, oh, you're this, oh, you're that, and you're that. And then you, the time comes when you're in problems. Who are you going to cry to, man? That's the Lord jacking you up, man. Because you're rebellious and you don't want to hear this truth, man. Read up. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. There you go, man. So you went... <laughs> And race war kicks off, and these Arabs are running you down, black man. Yeah, if you think you're so much of a Muslim, or so much of a, what is it, Haram and all this, yeah. whatever that is. So, you think you're so much uh, Islam, Islam, all that, right? Or Christianity, what, which, whatever the hell you think you is. When these race war kicks off, we're going to see how much of a that you are, right? Because that's when your fear is going to come and they're attacking you, man. And by then, you've, you'd have sold out so many of your own people already by being wicked, man. And look down and turn away and turn your back on your own people, your own black brother already, man. I was trying to show you the truth, man. And you're going to be like Judas in that day. Your heart's going to sink when you realize these people don't really love you. And you know that deep down, you know that, man. You know they don't really love you. They're just using you, man. You ain't in one of their jobs. You ain't in one of their binses. You ain't got nothing, man. But you're just glad to serve them and wear a dress, man. Read them. 
Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Yeah, let Allah deliver you, let Christian by Jesus deliver you in the time of your tribulation. We are strung out on crack still, man. And yet the churches are, there's one there, there's one down there, there's another one over there, and so on. Listen, man. Read on. And the children of Israel said unto the Lord, We have sinned. Do thou unto us. So like you. This is what you need to say, man. Read on. We have sinned, man. But do thou unto us whatsoever seemeth good unto thee. Now, that's a true person right there, man. You know, Lord, we've sinned, man. Do unto us what, 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 what you feel good, man. What, 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 please if you, just do to us what we please. We've sinned, we, we've done wickedness. Do to us what please you, Lord. You get a black person with that mindset, that's a better mindset, than, than saying this. Oh, God don't love us and I don't really believe in the Bible. I don't believe in God because this and look how we're dying. Listen, you don't know why you're dying. Your own damn self, man. Right. Your own rebellious ways and you don't know the God of this Bible because you ain't never been taught about the God of this Bible, man. And how he deals. You've never known him. So you can't talk against someone you don't know. He's trying to tell you how to live and you're living the wrong way. Something happens and then you're going to blame him. That don't even make no sense, man. It's your fault, man. So what, what did the Israelites say? Do thou unto us... No, no, from the, before that. We have sinned. We have sinned. Let's start there, man. Start with you. Blacks, Hispanics and Native Indians, the individual ones. Start with yourself. We have sinned. You have sinned. I have sinned. We have sinned, man. Let's start there, man. Read on. Do thou unto us whatsoever seemeth good unto thee. I say unto the Lord, do to, do to me or do to us what seems good to you, man. You, Lord, do what you want to us. If you want to kill us, kill us, because we've sinned, man. Right? Hold your hands up for the wrongs that you have done. That's what the Lord is saying, man. Read on. Deliver us only, we pray thee this day. Okay, so they're asking for deliverance, but do whatever you want to do, but deliver us, though. All right? Don't destroy us, but just punish us a different way, then do something else, but deliver us. Read on. And they put away the strange gods from among them. What did they do? They put away the strange gods from you, among you them. You better put away Allah and, and Krishna and Vishti, Vishnu, you understand? And, and, and flipping, um, what's the eight arm? And, 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 and Ashtoreth and Ashtarte, you understand? And, and, and all the Selassie, you better put them away, man. Right? And Caesar Borgia. That white image of so-called Christ, you understand? That's not, nothing like him, man. <laughs> nothing like him, totally backwards, man. You better put them away, man. All right, read on. Yeah, that, that weed, you understand? The ganja, the crack, the coke, you, you know what I mean? Um, hold them and etc. You better put that away, man. Read on. And serve the Lord. And do what? And serve the Lord. You better come and learn how to serve the Lord in the ICPC, man. Read, read, read on. And his soul was grieved for the misery of Israel. Who souls like him? Um, and the Lord's soul was grieved, man. For the I was like, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. He heard our cry and our groaning. He heard our um, affliction, man. And the fact that we said, this is what touches the Lord. The fact that we said, you know what? Do unto us what pleaseth thee, man. We have sinned, man. That's what the Lord wants us to do. Acknowledge our wrongs. You understand? The Lord wants us to acknowledge our wrongs, man. Yeah. And, and right our wrongs. Right them right, you understand? Rewrite our wrongs and make it right. How do you do that, man? You come into the ICPK and you learn how to serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. That's you understand? Um, is that it? Oh, um, and what was that? So like, yeah, that was George is 10. Uh, get Ezra. Ezra 9. Ezra 9, 13, right? Mm -hmm. Let's have a picture. Well, card as we chapter nine verse thirteen, and uh, and after all that is come upon us for our evil deeds and for our greatest trespass. Why has it come upon us for? For all for our great. No, just for our evil. For our, I just say it's like it. Hmm? Um, Ezra, nine thirteen. Nine thirteen. Is it one to three? Are you sure? Cut it, cut it. Okay. One to three? Cut it, one to three. Cut Okay, we got some idea. Chapter 9, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Now when these things were done, the princes came to me, saying, 
The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves. So the people of the land. Quran, the people of Israel, the prince and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the land. You understand? Like this is why what does it say? Separate from Britain and put your faith in the most high God. Separate from Britain and put your faith in the most high God, right? Meaning what? You got to separate from the people of the land, man. Can't be the same as the Asians, you can't be the same as the Africans, you understand whether Ghanaians or Niger, whatever they are in Africa, you can't be the same as them, you can't do what they do. We're not the same people. You can't be the same as the so-called white man, the oppressors. You can't do what they do, we're not the same people. You can't be the same as uh, the Somalians. You can't be the same as the, um, you understand, the Ethiopians, you understand? We're not the same people, alright? And you can clearly see that. If you're not blind, you can see that. You can feel that. All right? Stop being weak. You understand? And join your brothers and sisters, man. Build your nation, man. All right? Um, and whoever else I've missed out, man. And read on. <clears throat> Not separating themselves from the people of the land, doing according to their abominations. You're following their abominations, but you don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know what they do is abomination, man. You call yourself a Muslim, but you're smoking weed. You're selling weed. Or, or and crack but you're a Muslim you know what I'm saying you're doing grime music and so on and so forth but you're a Muslim what do they say haram or some shit I don't freaking know what the hell they say that right listen you are not the same people as them they've never been oppressed like you you understand a matter of fact they have oppressed you and they are also oppressing you you have learned to be that in jail, in prison. When you are weak in jail, is where they come to you and give you that stuff. Sell you that religion. You understand? Two major religions in the earth is Christianity and Muslim. And that's where they sell you, black people, Muslim, in, in the prison. Man. Why do you want to teach me something when I'm in a place where I, I, I'm desperate to get out of it? That's when you want to give me that. You understand? Listen, man. We ain't supposed to learn none of those other nations religion you have to separate from the people of the land and this is the time to separate from the people of the land because when the next plague what the lord sent at this coronavirus and etc some of us might not be here man the rebellious might not be here man you understand we don't doing doing according to their abominations even of the canaanites the hittites the perizzites Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Gergeshites, and the Amorites, my reader. The Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. All them nations. You see that? The Lord did say be the same as them. He didn't say join to any of them. He said all, and he counted them all out, man. Do not do what they do. None of them. Don't do what the Egyptians do. Don't do what the Canaanites do. Don't. Do. Who is it talking to, man? <laughs> Who follows everybody else, whereas no, nobody else don't follow everybody else? In the Asians, it's so like in an Asian person's household, everyone's an Asian. Man. Everyone goes to the mosque. And if the, even the, the one that don't go to the mosque then, right? Guess what? They believe it. Whether they want to admit it or not. Exactly what everyone in the house believes in. By default, their God is um, Allah and the Muhammad, man. Prophet, whatever. Their, their thing. Not, nothing to do with us, you understand? Because he ain't no prophet to us. <laughs> you understand? Our prophets... Isaiah, Jeremiah, etc. Man, all right. We're the people of the book, man. We're the people of the book, man. The Holy Bible. You understand? Holy means separate, and this is a separate book to every book on the planet. This is the number one top-selling book on the planet. It's got the, this has got the past, present, and future in here. You understand? This has got our people. Uh, you know, everything in here, man. Our history, man. We we'll start to the end, man. All right. Read on. But they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons. What, what, what did they do? What did our people do? The priests and so on and so forth. They took of their daughters, man. For, for themselves, the priests. That's the leaders now. And they're taking the other nations' daughters, the Ammonites, the Egyptians, and the Parasites, and the Amalekites, and, you know, all them nations. They're taking of their daughters, meaning they're having sex with their, with their females now. And I'm putting back... Putting their black sisters to the side, man. We ain't supposed to do that, man. That's against the law of the Lord. That's a law that we're not supposed to do that, man. 
Yofana in, in, in uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 3. All right, the Lord gets pissed off when we do that, gets angry, and he punishes us for that. We're not supposed to do that, reader. So that the holy seed have mingled themselves. The, the what seed? The holy seed. And that's your paraphrase, and that's his sons of God going in onto the daughters of men. Right. Understand that. I know fallen angel garbage, man. That's his sons of God. You holy seed, you righteous, you Israelites, you black, Hispanic, and native Indians, you're the holy seed of the most high, man. All right? And you mingling with the other nations, not supposed to read them, not supposed to do that, man. Read Have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. You mingling up with them, man. Just like today. Now, you can't serve the Lord because you, you, you know, you're in a, a jam now. Because you don't want to offend the other, your, your other half. You understand that you're not supposed to be within the first place talking about oh it's just love and this and that that was that's a fetish man that's not love man that's uh, the, the bible even calls it whoredom by the way whoredom man that's whoredom you're not supposed to do that man you're not supposed to go after another after another nation man uh, another nation woman man um read that last bit again so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands you're mixing up your holy seed you don't even know you're a holy people man you're a royalty Israelites, Black, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are royalty, and you're mingling your holy seed with the other nations. You're not supposed to do that. Breaking the laws of the Lord. Read on. Today, the hand of the princes and rulers have been chief in this trespass. The hands of who? The princes and the, rulers. The princes and the rulers, these are the leaders of the Israelites at this time. They've been chief. They're, it's them that's pushing it, man. Wicked leaders are pushing it just like your pastors and bishops and all these other and your imams and your and your um, imhoteps and your rastas and uh, all of that man they're going and taking white women now you understand and mingling the royal seed man with with, with the people of the land man now you, you know and, and etc man you know the Hamite and all the Africans and so on and so forth you're mixing the royal seed you're mingling the royal seed you don't even know your royalty man you don't even know you're the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You're the children of Israel. You don't even know that, man. And you're mingling your seed with other nations. You're not supposed to do that. Read on. And when I heard this thing, I rent my garment and my mantle. Man ripped up his clothes, man. That's a sign of mourning, you understand? That's a sign of weeping, man. Like, God, God, look, my nation's going to be destroyed now. It's going down the drain now. You understand? And that's why we're going down the drain today, man, in, in, in Britain, man. Because we're mingling our royal seed with these heathens, man. And what's happening now, it causes confusion with, with, with us, man. Can't talk black no more. You understand? Or, or can't talk about your culture, your oppression, what you've been suffering no more. Now you can't say nothing. Your mouth is stopped. Why? Because i got a white woman and I can't say that, that, that the oppressor is the devil anymore. Why? Because I've got a white woman, man. Listen, man. The oppressor is the devil, man. He's lied to us, he's tricked us, he's destroyed us, man. And they even, imagine you growing up and people calling you black bastard and nigga this and nigga that. And then you grow up and you take an oppressive, an oppressive daughter to your wife. Are you mad? And you hate yourself and you hate your people, man. By default. Read on. I'm plucked off the hair of my head and of my beard. And, and this brother here, Ezra's, Ezra's plucked off the hair of it. Of his hair, he ripped his friggin' hair out, man. God, God damn, I can't believe it. And ripped his beard off, man. That's a sign of like stress, man. You friggin' ah. anger and stress and the whole emotion, reader. And sat down as astonished. Astonished, and he sat down as astonished, man. God damn, is it? Go read it. And jump up to 7 and 7 to 15, brother. Um, since the days of our fathers have we been in a great trespass unto this day. Since the day of our fathers, this is Ezra's, um, Ezra's car, right? Ezra still, man, since the day of our fathers, this has happened over and over again. And here we are again doing this in, in, in Britain. Man. And wherever we are, we're dwelling at, we're doing that now. You've been oppressed by someone. And instead of saying, hell, you know what? I'm stay away from that. I'm going to go more into them. That's... Self-hatred, man. Right. That's self-hatred. There's no way around it. Nowhere else around it. You think if you get with them, my life's going to be easier. My children ain't going to have to suffer what I went through. My, my, no, maybe I am ugly. Maybe I am a, a monkey. So let me get a, a, a white woman. Or vice versa, the, white, the black woman get a white man. And my children won't be so monkey. And they won't be so nigger. We're the niggers, man. 
proud niggas, how about that? Righteous niggas, how about that, man? To hell with the devil that the Bible speaks of. Man. To hell with oppression, man. You've oppressed us so much, we hate ourselves. We buy and bleaching cream our people to bleach their skin, to look destroyed, man. To look like half past dead. To look like half past dead, man. You understand? What has caused our people to have that mindset? And the leaders, forget the, the Christian church, you, they're diabolically disgusting, man. They've watched our peoples die and, and be destroyed like that, man. You understand? They don't tell them, them don't do those things, man. Tattoo, we didn't get tattoos, man. We got all those things, man. Abomination, man. Read them. And for our iniquities have we, our kings and our priests, been delivered into the ha hand of the kings of the land. This is why you're in the hands of the Edomites now, man. This is why you're in the hands of the, the oppressors now. Because you you join them. And you thinking they got your best interest. Remember, they, they're wicked. But they show you a smiley face, a nice smile. How you doing, my brother? My brother, brother, brother. My brother. All right? Same with the white man. How you doing? Uh, what, uh, you all right, mate? All right, mate. Mate, this, mate, mate, mate. Right? And they hate your guts. You better friggin' understand that. But they show you one little thing of, um, you know, they give you a gift. Or, you know, treat you once, nice once, or whatever the kick. Just, rah. Well, black people, I've been around, like, black people never showed me this much love. I get more love from people that are not my people. I do too. And I realized, and I studied that too. I was like, rah, how come so? Like, these Edens, they'd rather be my friend than my own brothers don't even want. I was like, rah. But then I just keep myself to my goddamn self. Cause I'm thinking, nah, I ain't gonna give you my love like that. Cause you just want that spirit from me. You just want to be around me so you can have that, take my, you know, have that swagger and you can, you know, look, you know, have that spirit, man. Trying to get some of my flavor, man. And then when people see you with me now, it makes you look like, you know, you're down, you're down with the cause or just down. You know what I'm saying? No, man. Mm -mm. So I had to pull myself away from that. You understand? Uh, read on. To the sword, to captivity, and to a spoil, and to the, confusion the, the, of face. Jump up from before that, so that's so that. uh, And for that, uh, any quitters, have we, our kings and our priests, been delivered into the hand of the kings of the land? Mm -hmm. To the sword, to captivity, for, for and to our, spoil. For our sins are we delivered to the people of the people of the land, man, because of our sins, man. And to the what? To the sword. To the sword, to captivity, and to a spoil. To the sword, to captivity, and the being spoiled, man. We ain't got nothing now. <laughs> spoiled, man, we don't. And to confusion of faith as it is this day. And what? And to confusion of faith as it is this day. Confusion of faith. Is it not so even, even thus, Israel? Confusion of faith, man. Like, yeah, now it's like, you, you can look and you think that person's a... a, a, a an uh, Israelite, he could be an Edomite. You think that person, like, okay, for instance, let me give it a better example. Let's say a white man puts his seed with a black woman. That child is not an Israelite. Man. Right. She just bought seed of another nation. Man. You understand, like Mar Meghan Markle and Harry or whatever. That child is an Edomite. Man. Meghan Markle, Markle, whatever her name, she's an Edomite. Man. Her dad is white, her mother's an Israelite, but her dad is an Edomite. Man. You understand? Her dad is a so called white man. Then she, she won't be classed as our nation now. She, no, well, she don't look like us, but someone darker. Like Bob Marley is not our nation. Man. How about that? Bob Marley, his mom is our nation, but his dad is an is a Edomite. Man. He's not of our nation. That's confusion of face. So people look at Bob Marley and go, oh, there's a black man there. Oh, yeah, it's mixed race, but it's more black. It's black. Look at his hair. It's black. You know, those type of things, man. If you are a so-called black woman and you have children by a, a so-called white man, that child is of the seed of his father, according to the Bible. That child will be an Edomite. Now, if you are a, a, a black man and you have children by a so-called white, by a so-called white woman, guess what, man? Those children are still Israelites because they are your seed. They are from the seed of Israel. You understand? Because the man carries the seed. That's how it works. According to this Bible, you understand? Alright? Uh, read on. 
And now for a little space, great and, and so like, let me just say, not just a white woman, but any nation woman, not that we're not we're not supposed to, as we just read before, the Lord gets angry with us when we do that. But just to clarify, the children from a so-called Negro man is still an Israelite child. Okay? Just to clarify that. So hopefully they can come in the truth. You understand? That don't mean you, you hate your parents, you love your parents still, etc. But you're an Israelite. Do what the Lord says. That's all the Lord wants. Read on. And now for a little space, grace has been shewed from the Lord our God. So for a little space, grace is... God's giving you grace, man. It's what the Lord does with our people. We're in a grace period right now. So with grace is meaning you get it, get yourself right, man. And that's what we're trying to teach y'all, man. That's what we're trying to tell y'all in the ICPK, man. On the commanding general, general Yohanna, you understand. This is the grace period. Get it right, man. Read on. To leave us a remnant to escape. He left us a remnant so we can escape. Uh, what do you think we are in the ICP? We can't, we can't all be tricked, man. You know, that there's a term, you can fool some people, and that's bad, bad, it's, oh, well, but you can fool some people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all the time. We can't let them trick us all, and I'm not, he's you, just amongst us, you understand? I don't mean I'm using anything to do with him. He's been amongst us, man, so we're going to learn what we say. Uh, but they, you can't, they can't trick us all, man. We can't all follow them, follow their way, man. Nah, hell no, man. Some of us have got to stand firm and say, hell no, I ain't going to be a Muslim. Hell no, I'm not going to be a Rasta, uh, uh, Selassie then. Hell no, I'm not going to, um, that's an Ethiopian, he's not our people, you understand? We're the Israelites, man. Hell no, I'm not going to be a Christian, serving no white supremacy under, under no Caesar boys here, man, not the white image, you understand? Hell no, man, none of those things, all these philosophies in this earth, I'm not going to be, none of, hell no, man. And that's why the ISUPK is here, man, because guess what? We're the Israelites according to this Bible, man. Hell yeah, I'm going to be an Israelite, because that's what God called me to be, man. You know? And to give us a nail in this holy place that God may lighten our eyes. So to give us a what? A nail in this holy place. Okay, to give us a nail. That our God may lighten our eyes and give us a little reviving in our bondage. And that's what we want, man. We want your black Hispanics to get a, 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 a little, a, even if it's a little revival, man, while we're here in this captivity, man. And this is where you need to come into the school. This is where you get a little revival, man. You understand? This is the, your, safe, your sanctuary of safety, man. All right? Gather yourselves together, man. Read on. But we were bondmen, yet our God has not forsaken us in our bondage. Listen, he ain't going to forsake you and choose another nation. To hell with any other nation that come and try and teach me that garbage religion that, that God is now forsaking the Israelites and chose Muhammad and all this BS, man. He might. God, read that last bit again. He will what? But we were bondmen, yeah. We, we were slaves, man. We were bondmen. We was under a race. We was under a nation because of, you know, we didn't keep the law of statutes and commandments. And the Lord gave us into their hands. And we were bondmen, but we cried to the Lord. And what? Yet our God hath not forsaken us. But he ain't forsaken us. And just like how he delivered us into slavery in the Western Hemisphere, in the, in the cargo, slave ships, etc. Guess what? He ain't forsaken us, man. Listening to no other flipping garbage religion, man. He ain't forsaking us, black man, Hispanics, and native Indians. He ain't forsaking us. He ain't never going to forsake us. That's our God. That's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who the, who the God is, man. The God of the book, man. And we're the people of the book. And he ain't forsaking us, man. We might be suffering we're at the bottom, etc. That's because our nation sinned, man. But we, he's going to give us grace. This is where we are now. He's giving us grace. We're in grace period. And grace means, doesn't mean you're just waiting for the kingdom. You got to work for the kingdom. You keep the law, statutes, and commandments, man. And that's why I need to get in here and learn, man. Read. But hath extended mercy unto us in the sight of the king of the kings of Persia. Guess what? He's given his mercy unto us. He's extending mercy unto us. When you return to the Lord, he will extend mercy unto us, man. And this is the sight of the king of Persia when he was in Persian captivity, man. But what? We're in a uh, captivity in this side in the Western Hemisphere, Britain, America, etc., Jamaica, etc. He's going to give us mercy from them once we separate. We cannot be up under his backside. He ain't going to give us no mercy then because you, you, you're literally kissing his ass. All right? You've got to separate, separate from Britain and put your faith in the Most High God. Separate, get your mind separated is what it is. Separate your mind, meaning learn who God, your God is and, 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 and do what your God says. And love your nation and people. Return to your people and build your people up. And that's how you separate. You come. You do what the Asians. You see how the Asians do. 
They have their own community. They separate themselves in their own community, man. See how the Chinese are, they got Chinatown, and they separate themselves, and they only give their businesses to the Chinese, etc. Do that, man. See how the Africans got their own community, and they keep themselves amongst themselves in the African community. Where's the Caribbean community? You're supposed to have yours, and you was there first, and you're supposed to have yours, and, have, and keep yours in your own community. Where's right, yours at? Because you've, you've been separated, you've been bamboozled and destroyed, not knowing that the, the, the oppressor as a roaring lion was devouring us from, in, from inside out, man. And he was using some of our own people to infiltrate us and destroy us, man. Give them a little change, they get all flipping high and crazy and lose it, man. And sell you out. That's what they did in this black community, so called. That's what they did, man. They got a little payout and they lost every friggin' thing that we're crawling on our bellies, man. Like snakes now. You understand? That's what you do when you trust in the oppression, man. And you sell out black people, man. Read on. To give us a reviving, to set up the house of our God, and to repair the desolation thereof. Repair the destruction. Black people, we've been destroyed for 400 plus years, man. And our, our, we need to repair. You understand? And this is where you come to repair, man. In the ISUPK. You need to repair, and this is where you come, man. Read on. And to give us a wall in Judah and in Jerusalem. And give what? To give us a wall in Judah and in Jerusalem. Protection, man. To give you protection, man. This is where you come to be protected, man. To build your nation up. So you can be protected, man. Otherwise, if you stay divided, you, you just you just a prey to every nation round about you, man. Read on. And now, O oh, our God, what shall we say after this? For we have forsaken thy commandments, which thou hast commanded, or which thou, which thou hast commanded by thy <laughs> servants, the prophets. As us in the ICPK, we're commanding you, and we're teaching you what thus says the Lord, man. Return unto the Lord, and He will return unto you, man. All right, read on. Saying, the land unto which ye go to possess it, it is an unclean land with the filthiness of the, of the people of the land. The land what we're in today in America and Britain, etc., it is a filthy land full of wickedness and abomination, man. You understand? It's a filthy land full of evil, wickedness and abomination, man. Read on. With their abominations which have filled it from one end to another, with their uncleanness. There's no way you can get any peace on this place. You understand? It's full of abomination. Uh, uh, you're telling me a little child, that seven year old or whatever, can have a sex change and all this crap. That's abomination. They're trying to push, push pedophilia. You understand? That's abomination. Man. They must molest the little boys in the, in the, in the uh, Catholic Church, in the Roman Catholic Church, and then they'll move that priest into another place, to another uh, place. They don't get rid of him. They chastise, they chastise him and imprison him. They move him to somewhere else to molest another boy, man. Or some other boys, man. Abomination, man. Read on. Now, therefore, give not your daughters unto their sons. Don't give your black man, don't give your daughters to their sons. None of these other nations, don't let your daughter have their sons, man. And I tell you, there's a lot of these other nations that are just running through our daughters, man. Running through these black girls, man. And dumping them to the side, man. Using them as hoes and, and stuff like this, man. If you got a daughter, you make sure you, you watch over her and make sure she don't go with these other nations, man. That's what you're supposed to do. Black man, black woman. You understand? And black woman, man, you, you need that black man in the house. And you need to realise that, man. The early, the sooner you realise that, that, the flipping better, man. You understand? Because that's the healing of our nation. You trying to treat that man, that black man, like he ain't nothing. You better hold on to that black man. Like you ain't never hold on to a, a black man before in your life. You understand? And recognize what time it is, man. Read on. Neither take their daughters unto your sons. And don't give your daughters. Uh, don't don't take their daughters and give it to your give them to your sons neither. And this is the reason why. Don't give your daughters to their sons. Don't take your daughters, etc. Read on. Nor seek their peace or their wealth forever. Seek their what? Their peace or their wealth. For forever. how long? For for how long? Forever. Don't seek peace from them, because you're not going to get the... God is telling you not to do that. Why, 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 why? Why would the Lord say, don't seek peace from them? The Lord knows who he's created, and he knows they're a vicious bunch of people, man. They're wild as hell, man. And you're a peaceful people, man. 
And the Lord said, don't give your daughter to their son. Don't seek no peace from them. And don't seek their riches. You're looking at their wealth like, wow, I like how they can do I like how they do this. And you're seeking their wealth. If it was, say, if they join Muslim or whatever, you get, you know, percentage, uh, you know, you get some, somehow you, you can get money or whatever the hell it, the thing is, right? Or if you're buying a house, you don't have to pay, you don't have to pay, you know, what you borrow is what you pay back. They don't charge the interest, that's it, right? Don't seek their wealth. Or nothing that they've got, man. For how long? Forever. 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 That's what our God said, man. Don't join them and don't seek their peace or their wealth forever, man. We're not supposed to, man. We're supposed to look look for our own stuff, man. Amongst our own, man. All right? That's what we're supposed to do, man. Read on. That ye may be strong and eat the good of the land. That ye may what? That ye may be strong and eat the good of the land. There is a way to be strong, black man, Hispanics, and native Indians. There is a right way for your nation to be strong. Stick together, man. Come together, man. Learn to come together. You've been, you've been taught how to separate. You understand? Um, in many different ways, they, they've taught us oppression. They, depre they depress you so much, oppress you so much, that you, 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 know, you separate. That's what they've done. Oppression has made us separate, man. You understand? Hate and oppression has made us hate each other also, man. You understand? And so on and so forth, man. And money and drugs that made us kill each other. Where did the drugs come from, man? We didn't create it. But it made us kill each other, right? Oppression and greed, man. Don't envy them for nothing, man. Read on. And leave it for an inheritance to your children forever. And, and that's how you can be strong. And whatever you gain, it will pass down to your children. Just like how whatever they gain passed down to their children, they look out for theirs, man. They ain't looking out for you. <clears throat> Likewise, man, you need to start looking out for you, you and yours, man. <clears throat> you need to start looking out for you, your people, for yourself and your nation, man. Read on. And after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds... It's because of our evil deeds why these things are happening. Oppression is happening to us, you understand? But once we return to the Lord, read on. And for our evil trespass, mm. seeing that thou... That though our God has punished us mm -hmm. less than our iniquity deserve. And, and he's punished us even less than our iniquity. Like the wickedness, what we've done. We should have been totally wiped off. Now that's when the Muslim could say, yeah, you know, he's chosen us now. Nah, he didn't choose them though. You understand? We've done worse than our... And he's still not... That's what, yo, yo don't, I don't want to hear nothing about no Quran, man. Or no Muslim or no nothing, man. The Lord says he he could have and should have wiped us out. Man. Read that read that bit again, Salak. Like. Seeing that though our God has punished us less than our iniquities deserve. Listen, man, our God has punished us less than our iniquity deserve, man. Like a father, yeah, you've done something so friggin' wrong. And he should have punished you way more. But he just, you know, he gave you a little slap or whatever and said, Don't do that again, man. But guess what? You should have been punished way more, man. That's what our God did, man. Our father did that, man. All that what we suffered, guess what? We shouldn't have been on this earth today. That's how much we shouldn't have been on this earth today. And mm. look, our God did what? Has punished us less than our iniquity deserve. Way less than our iniquity deserve, man. That's our father, man. And I don't trust in no other, and no one else's father do I trust in. I don't trust in no one else's God, man. I trust in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I trust in the God of my forefathers and mothers, man. That's the God that I trust in, man. God of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. That's the God I trust in, man. Read on. And has given us such deliverance as this. Should we again break thy commandments and join in affinity with the people of these abominations? So Ezra is saying, shall we again do this, man? Shall we again go and join these heathens and do abomination again? Because we just keep doing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Read on. But read on. Wouldest not thou be angry with us till thou hast consumed us, so that there would be no remnant, no escaping? So, so if we do it again, won't the Lord be angry with us that there will be no one else, not even one to uh, uh, escape? None escaping? That means we'll all be wiped out? But God, God ain't, our God, our Father ain't like that, man. He, does, he doesn't totally wipe us out, man. Because he made a, a covenant, he made an oath, a promise with our forefathers that they, uh, we will inherit the earth forever. Can't go back on that. 
So even if there's one righteous, the Lord will save that one righteous and repopulate with that one righteous one. Understand right. that? Our God will never, ever, ever destroy us utterly. Understand that? And that's what the Bible says, man. And trust me, no, no oppressive book that's going to have me under them like, a, like some subservient slavery. You might read them. O oh Lord God of Israel, thou art righteous. O oh Lord God of who? God of Israel. This is our God, man. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, man. Read up. Thou art righteous, for we remain yet escaped as it is this day. We remain escaped. You are righteous, God. You are righteous, man. All right. Um, what have you got? Just do it. Read up. Behold, we are before thee in our trespasses, for we cannot stand before thee because of this. Right. We're still in our sin because we cannot stand before you because of this. Just like today, man, we're in our sin. We're still getting shot down, still setting do you know, dogs on us. Well, not in that way, but we're still getting shot down. What, what, else, happened? what else is happening to us? Getting disease, AIDS, cancer, syphilis, you understand? We're getting all those things, man. Locked up, killed. We're still... Uh, um, those things are happening to us because we are in our iniquity. Therefore, the Lord can't save us. The Lord cannot protect us. The Lord cannot destroy our enemies because we are going against the Lord. That's why the Lord just says, all right, you, have you, have you, are you, are you going to listen now? Are you going to return now? You know? No? Can't do nothing for you. I'll just wait until you get it right. Next generation. Still ain't got it right? No? Okay. I will just wait. <laughs> you understand? The Lord ain't playing, man. You think the Lord is playing. Read up. Alright. So on. Romans 13 and 1, right? Okay. To, four, to 14. Romans chapter 13, verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. Let ye be subject unto the higher power, you understand? That's the power of the Israelite school of ISUPK on the commanding general Yahana. That's the higher power. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power reader. For there is no power but of God. The, the most high self commanding general, general Yahana. There is no power but of God reader. The powers that be are, are ordained of God. The powers that be are ordained. Also, the Lord self, these heathens, man. The powers that be are ordained. The Lord has given them their position in the earth reader. Whosoever resisteth, whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth, is resisteth the ordinance of God. If you resist these these uh, heathens, how how? If they trying to make you into a slave and a serf, that's not really resisting them. That's you trying to protect yourself. Now resisting them is you trying to sell drugs and and and, and you know uh, uh, what else you're not supposed to do? Like you're selling drugs. Uh, you know, you get locked up for selling drugs, right? Don't, res don't resist that, man. Because you're doing... Read that again, sir. Wherefore, whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. And right. Right. If you keep these laws as your commandments in the Bible, you don't have to resist no power. Because don't thou shalt not steal. There you go. There's one. So you won't have to steal, man. So you, you don't have to resist no power of nothing because you're not stealing nothing. Alright? Don't commit adultery and etc. Alright? Um, you know, things that the heathens will come and lock you up for or hurt you or cause hurt to you for me. If you in here learning the Bible, learning what the Lord uh, requires, requires of you, you don't need to fear uh, any oppressors. No? Read on. And they that resisteth shall receive to themselves damnation. So if you resist, uh, I'm trying to get an example. It's like, like, uh, it's like the Black Panther movement, they tried to like, okay. like, raise arms forces against them and try to kill them, but it's not going to work because it's without, without God. That's right. There's one right there, the Black Panther movement, right? It's not going to work, or it did not work because... It's, it didn't have the Lord, man. Right. Didn't have the backative of the Most High God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Didn't have, it, didn't have, it did not have the backative, man. And that's why it failed. You understand? There's fragments of it somewhere, wherever the hell they are. But 
they they have no use right now. Why? Because it wasn't of the Lord. Okay. So and you can't go against the oppressors like that. You fight the oppressors by returning to your people and loving your people. Right. You don't fight the oppressors by joining them. You understand? And they infiltrated the the, the, the Black Panthers, man. Right, read them. For rulers are not a terror to good works. There you go. So rulers, those heathens ruling over us, they're not going to terrorize you. You're keeping the law, that's in command. Thou shalt not steal, don't murder. All right? Don't commit adultery, don't do this, don't do that. You're living righteously. They're not a terror to good works, man. But if you're selling drugs and running up and down the streets, then they, they terrorize you on purpose, man. And they hunt your steps. They want to hunt you. They, they want to hunt you, man. And they got a reason. Why do you think they put the drugs in your neighborhood? So they can oppress you. So they can hunt you. So they can lock you up. Man. Tom and Jerry, man. All right? You got the cheese, and they coming after you, man. They give you the cheese to play games with you, man. They play games with our nation. You understand? To destroy us. You know? For rulers are not to terror to good works, but to evil. But to, but, but evil. to what? But to the evil. Right, if you you know you're selling drugs, that's evil, man. All them things you're doing there, that is against the laws of the Lord and against the laws also of the land. You understand? Depending on what it is, if it's not lawful in here, it's against the laws of the land. Okay, is that right? If it's not lawful in the Bible, yes, it's going to be also against the laws of the land, man. And it can, it's things that they can lock you up for, throw you in jail, throw the book at you, etc., etc., for. Things that they should be getting locked up for the damn selves, but they don't, you know what I'm saying? But read on. Will thou then be will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. So do what's good, man. Are you not um, scared of, are you not scared of getting locked up, thrown in jail? Wasting losing your time, wasting your time with for 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 wickedness is the point, you understand? Because you know, you might get thrown in jail for doing the right thing sometimes. That's different, like our hearts, you have to understand, goes out to the ones that, that, that you know, did not do do what they said, man. You understand? Or even, and in fact, even some of the ones that did what they said, but they didn't really want to do. You understand? You get caught up in this friggin' BS because of this this wickedness of this system and oppression makes us do things that we don't really, that we wouldn't really want to do. And then guess where we end up behind bars? But that's not, we, we didn't want to be there, man. But we end up being there, why? Because oppression, man. oppression. Man. We know we don't really want to, certain things we don't really want to do, man. And we're trying to hold out and we try and go a different route. And that route will end up getting us locked up, man. And that's not what we want, but, you know. But coming in and learn how to be righteous, man. You understand? Learn how to combat this society and this evil system, man. Because rulers are not a terror to good works, read on. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. So if you're selling drugs, um, some other things that get you locked up. What's the next? I can't even think. Right you know, uh, drugs is a major one. So I'll just stay on that, right? Murder, man. Murder, uh, drugs, you understand? Um, things like that that will get you locked up, man. You understand? Uh, what did the last bit? If that, but if thou do, if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. If you're doing what's not righteous or not right, be afraid, man. Because one day you will get scooped up. That's what the Lord is saying. He's got. That's why He's extending His hand to you right now, man. Through us and as He became. Um, is that to fourteen? Uh, Read that. For He beareth not the sword in vain, for He is the minister of God. A revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Mm. So that's who he is. He's a he's an executor to revenge wrath upon those that do do evil, man. Okay. Um, reader. Wherefore ye must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience' sake. So ye must needs be subject, not be, not just because of the, the anger, or you being locked up, but for conscience' sake, man. Is that right? Okay. Right, for your own conscience be right, man. Okay, read on. For for this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers, a 
attending continually upon this very thing. Right. So you're supposed to pay your tribute, man. You understand? The rulers of that the Lord set over you, which are the eyes you became, and you're supposed to pay your tribute to us when we don't. Render therefore, render therefore to all their dues. Tribute to whom tribute is due. Mm -hmm. Custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear. Right. Fear to whom fear. Man, that's your leaders in the ICPK, you understand? You're supposed to render to them, man. Fear to whom fear, meaning respect, you understand? And, and custom, and what is it? Custom to whom custom. Right, right. Yeah, read on. Honour yeah. to whom honour. Honour to whom honour, yeah. Oh, no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. And we're supposed to love our brothers in the eyes of the king, man. Understand, and sisters, read on. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou right, shalt so, not steal. There you go, man, it's breaking down what we shall not do. Commit adultery, steal. These are things in the world where the Lord deliver you up for, man. Alright? But we ain't supposed to do those things. So if we don't do that, then rulers are not a terrible good work, man. We don't. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Don't lie. Thou shalt not covet. Don't grudge somebody else for their what's theirs, man. What the Lord has blessed them with. We don't. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying. Mm. Namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. If there's anything else, here it is. It's summed up. This is how it's summed up, man. Love your neighbor as yourself, man. Read. Love worketh no ill to his neighbour. So you're not going to want to see no harm come to that brother, man. To your neighbour, man. The blacks, Hispanics and Native Indians. You don't want your people to be harmed, man. Alright? Because love, that's real love right there. Love worketh no ill to blacks, Hispanics and Native Indians. If you are a black, Hispanic and Native Indian, man, read up. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Love is keeping the laws. Love your neighbour as yourself. That is the fulfilling of the law. Come on. And that, knowing the time... That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. The Lord said what? It is high time to wake out of sleep. Black, Hispanics and Native Indians, you've been in religion all your life. Grown up in it. Whether you've been to church or not, you still have the Christian mindset. Listen, man. It's time to wake up out of sleep, man. Awake, awake, the Bible says, man. Put on that garment, man. Put on that princely garment, old Zion. All right? Wake out of sleep, man. Read on. For now is our salvation nearer than our we sal believe. Our salvation is nearer, man, than, than, than way back when this was written, man. Our salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. This is what Paul in Rome, man, at the Corinth, the, the, our salvation is now even nearer. Read on. The night is far spent. We've been too long in slavery, man. We've been too long in darkness, shadows of death, man. Walking around in this place with no spirit. You understand? Spiritually dead, spiritually drunken destroyed spiritually destroyed and tormented and oppressed and crushed man that's what we've been man we've been a lifeless people in this place man spiritual spiritually dead in this place man and the lord wants us to be revived with the spirit of the lord once again man and that's how you come and get it now as you came and come and learn man read on the day is at hand the day is, yep it's time man let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light don't get rid of all those gods and religions and false idols, you understand, and lies and hypocrisies and, and evil and wickedness, man. And come and put on the armor of light, which is come and learn this Bible into the, into, in, the, in, in its entirety and, and get the correct breakdown and understandings on what things mean and this mean. Read on. Let us walk honestly as in the day. And let us walk honestly, honestly. Like when you walk in the day. Now, if you're walking in the night, what are you looking to do, man? Looking to rub somewhere, man. All right? Who walks in the night, man? Ballied up and whatever, looking to jack something, you understand? Some, someone that's not honest. Someone that's looking to go and creep. Uh, uh, creep with, with another man's wife, man. That's who walks in the, in the night, in the twilight, and etc., man. But let's walk, honestly, like in the daytime. Like when you walk in the day, let's, you're looking at things clear now. You understand? We don't. Not in rioting and drunkenness. And we're not into that riotingness and drunkenness, man. Hooliganism, you understand? Not in that, read on. Not in chambering and wantonness. That's that, read on. Not in strife and envying. That's the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing, you understand? Hooliganism, strife and envying, uh, brawler, uproar, torment, uh, uh, argumentative, you understand? Etc, man, read on. 
But put thee on the Lord Jesus Christ. Put on Christ, man. Be like Christ, man. You understand? Read on. And make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. And and not don't walk after the flesh, man. Don't make provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust, meaning don't be a, 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 a sexual deviant, man. All right? Mm. Serve the most. I put your trust in the Lord, man. Um, that's it. What's up? Romans, right? To 14, Revelations 12 and 9, both for sure. Come on, well, come 9 on. to 17, sure. And the great dragon was cast out. That... Here, here's the great dragon, man. That's the Edomites, man. You understand the oppressors, man. That great dragon, man. Read up. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, mm -hmm. which deceived the whole world. That's what they did, man. They deceived the whole... They, they told you Christ was white, man. In Christ in the Bible, Christ is a black man, man. Feet like burnt brass, you can't get a white man out of that, man. You understand? Um, they deceived the whole world, man. Read up. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So that's when he loses his power, man. Oh, Lucifer, how art thou fallen from heaven, oh, Lucifer? Paraphrasing um, Isaiah 4 14 and 21 and, and, and 12, 14 and 12, around about, right? <clears throat> how art thou fallen from heaven, oh, Lucifer? How art thou cut down to the ground, man? Which did weaken nations, man. You understand? That's him, man. Read, read that again, so I can dump it. Which deceived the whole world. They deceived the whole world, believing that they was righteous and uphold and everything white as golden and gracious and angelic and all that, man. You understand? They deceived the whole world, believing that the us believing the blonde and blue eyed guy was 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 Jesus Christ, man. When when that is Caesar Borgia, the second son of Pope Alexander the Sixth of Rome. You understand, they slept with his sister, man. The Queen's your boys here, you understand? They're in a whole bunch of abominable people right there, man. They got us worshipping this this guy and murdered his brother, man. A murderer, man. That's who they got us worshipping, man. They deceived the whole world, reader. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. And anyone that follow his philosophy and his ways, that's his angels, man. You following Lucifer, you following so-called Caucasians in their wickedness and how they rule in this earth. You're going to be cast out with him, man, reader. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God. Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God now, Black Hispanics and Native Indians. This is the time and the kingdom of your God, man. All right? God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, reader. And the power of his Christ. And Christ, man, reader. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. The accuser of our brethren, that's it, that's it, that's Caesar, boys, that's um, Esau, man. Right. Esau is the accuser of, of our brethren, man. What did they say, man? You're no good, you're lazy, you're, 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 like, everything under the sun that's negative, you thugs, you gangbangers, you, you good for nothing, you know, niggas, man. That's what they say against us, man. They accuse us day and night, man. They accuse us of our brethren and reader. Which accused them before our God day and night. Mm -hmm. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And, and, and they what? They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. This is how we overcome the wicked, man. By the blood of the Christ, man. Christ is the blood of the Lamb, you understand? We trust and believe in Christ that he died for the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. You understand? He didn't die for everybody on the planet. That's a lie. And who told you that? The devil, man. The devil is a liar, man. You understand? The oppressor is a liar. Uh, he died for the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, man. Um, they overcame him, but? By the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb, read. And the word. And by the word of their testimony. I will we testify, man. You understand? Via this Bible, man. Read her. And they love not their lives unto death. And we love not our lives, what? Unto the death. Unto the death, man. You understand? Because he is the wicked. He is the oppressor, you understand? But we love not our life unto death, man. Until death, you understand? Because this, look, man, yo, we are, if we're in the world, that's death right there. You just living to die, or just, just walking around. You're dead, man. You're spiritually dead. You're conquered. You are conquered, man. Why don't you just be free, man? The truth shall make you free. Know the truth and the truth will free you up, man. Physically you're in captivity, but your mind, your spirit is free, man. All right, read on. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens. Rejoice, man. Go on. And ye that dwell in them, mm -hmm. 
Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Woe to the earth and the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. Now, it didn't fall out of the sky, you understand? The devil's always been here. <laughs> it's just that he's, um, he's on a high position and he's going to be brought down low, man. And he knows he's, he's slipping. He's slipping and he's losing his seat, losing his power. So now he's going to, his anger, he's going to be angry with you. Angry with the chosen people. Angry with blacks, Hispanics and Native Indians. To the point where he puts his feet on your neck and you're crying out for your mother. You're calling for your mum and you're begging. I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And he doesn't care. That's the cast, the anger, that's the devil coming down on you with wrath. Knowing that he has a little bit of short time. Man. Right. You understand? Shooting you in the back while you're walking away from him. You understand? Uh, uh, read on. Because he knoweth that he had but a short time. That's why, man. This is why they're treating us like this. You understand? Because they know we've got a short time. Wind rush in our people back to the Caribbean, etc. Because they know has got a little bit of short time, man. Read on. And when the dragon saw this, he was cast cast onto the earth. The dragon knows, and he can see it's like, rah, <laughs> this Bible is real, man. These things are coming to pass, man. The dragon, I'm, see, I'm losing, I'm slipping. Falling, I can't get up. <laughs> you understand? Read on. He persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. Ah, uh, that's the Israelites, man. That's just a symbolic, um, and you could, uh, Jeremiah, was it Jeremiah 11 and 2 or something? Or 2, 11? Israel is like a, a um, you know, a, a woman, right? Correct. So he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. Read on. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, mm -hmm. that she may fly into the wilderness into her place. That was also in the time of Christ too, man, when you had to run into Egypt, etc. That's also with us in this time, in this side of the earth too, man. We get 300 and something years we've been in captivity, man. That's the wings that we must play, uh, uh, read that again, Slacky. The wing, two way wings of an eagle that she, met, that she might fly into the wilderness, into mm -hmm. her place. Into her place, just a place, right, in the earth, where we are. Right. Read on. Like, we, we get in the, the shitlings, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the place, man. The shitlings from the slave master's table, man. The crumbs which falls from his table. That's us being, you know, uh, in this position right now, man. Read on. Where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time mm. in the face of the serpent. So, time, times, that's 300 and half a time, 350 years, man. Read on. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman. And the serpent cast out water, which is its, its philosophy, its Christianity, all right? Um, all his religions and everything that, you know, that, that they are all about, you understand? That's what he cast out, all the lies. Christ is white, the angels are white. God is white. Moses is white. Israelites are white. The Africans, the, the, the Philistines are white. <laughs> Don't know how that works, you know what I'm saying? Um, all those things, man, read them. That he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. That is causing black, Hispanics and native Indians to follow their philosophy and their ways. That's why the Lord says, what? Uh, return unto me and I will return unto thee. This, this class is what? Separate from Britain and put your faith in the most high God, man. You get your mind right, man. And that it may cause her to be carried away by the flood. We don't want to be carried away by the flood no more. Oh, vote for this one. Vote for that one. Uh, put your trust in Boris or whoever else. They're all going to let us down, man. Right. Yeah, all of them are going to... None of them are for us. And then ever, never, ever going to be for us, man. Even in America, they're not for us. They gave us a black president, so they say. And guess what? They didn't give us a black president that went through 400 years of slave. Right. They didn't give us a black president that suffered the same oppression that we suffered, man. They gave us a so-called black president as if he was one of our people. He ain't our people, man. Right. He's, a, he's a Hamite, man. His dad's a Hamite. His mom's an Edomite, which makes him a Hamite, man. Barack Obama is not of our people, man. He doesn't know what we suffer. He, don't, he, he ain't never been through that, man. Even these Africans here today around us, they, they don't know our struggles. Listen, we got a different struggle, man. They That's still right. rapping around us, singing our style of music and act like they know our struggle. They don't know our struggles, man. They sold us, man. They don't know our pain. None of these race and nation know our pain. 
And we got to get with the ones that know our pain, man. Because we need to talk about it. We need to build and we need to heal about it, man. Because if someone got molested, you understand? A woman gets molested, you understand? Rapes, etc. Now, someone's going to be talking to her and, you know, uh, uh, cult, cult, what do you call it? You know, counselling, kind of, that's the term I'm looking for. Counselling this, this woman back, man, hoping, you know, to help her back to get over this trauma, man. This wicked trauma that someone's just, uh, 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 you know, molested her, someone has just abused her, someone has just taken her, um, you know, taking power over her body, man. For instance, right? Which she didn't give consent to. So therefore, what? That's like, it's as if someone, she'd just been murdered, man. In the Bible, that's what it's, that's what it's like, you understand? It's like you murdered someone, man. She just, it's like, she's just, she just a shell of a person now. Someone's got to counsel her back, man. Who's, who's counseled us, man? Who's healed us from slavery, rape, robbing, and trauma, and murder of our people? Who, who's, who's healed us, man? Who's come to our aid? Who's come to our rescue? But everyone wants to take. It's all good when you're like, yeah, doing the hype, and you're, you're singing and dancing, and everyone's feeling a good vibe from you. I want to be around you then. But when you talk about slavery, everyone runs off, man. Everyone flees. Everyone runs away. When you talk about your problems, to these other nations, they run away. Don't join these other nations, man. They don't know nothing of what you're suffering and of what your suffering is, man. Read on. And the earth helps the woman. But the Lord's gonna help us. This earth, earth is gonna unveil that we're the real Israelites. Archaeological evidence, etc., etc. Read on. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. So this, this, this serpent, has, or this devil, has spewed out the lies and philosophies out of his mouth. And the, and the, and the, and the, the Lord, this, the earth is going to open up its mouth and swallow that up. Man. This Bible is going to swallow that up. Man. You understand? Read on. And the dragon was rough with the woman. The dragon was rough with us, man. The serpent, the serpent was rough with us, man. You understand? They had us in slavery for 400 years, tr stringing us up from trees, man. What, what do you think this is? What do you actually think this is when you're reading it, man? The dragon was rough with us, man. Rough with the woman, man. Read on. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. And went to make war. <laughs> like you don't understand. Went to fight. Went to destroy. Went to make war with the rest remnant of her seed, man. The dragon went to make war with the rest of her children, with the rest of her seed, man. The woman, and paraphrasing as well in, 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 in Genesis, man. Right? When this, when the Lord says what? This is a precept. This is a precept to that one. Where the Lord says, um, I put enmity between thy seed and her seed and between, what was it? Her seed and thy seed and thy seed and his seed, right? You understand? He shall bruise thy head and he shall bruise thy heel, right? Or sheets, whatever. So bruise thy heel, right? Genesis 3 and something, something. 3 and 15, somewhere there. Is, you know, right? So that's it, what we're reading here, man. Spewing water out of his mouth that he might carry the woman away in the flood, which is the philosophy and the lies, man. Read on. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God. And that's who they want to war, like, come on now. They want to war with those that keep the commandments of God. Why would you want to war with someone that keep God's laws? Don't do murder, don't commit adultery, crimes, don't uh, do wickedness, basically. So that means they want the earth. They want people to be wicked. Right. You know why? That's how they get paid, man. That's right. That's how their lawyers, they get sent their children to school to be lawyers and liars and doctors and barristers and judges and all those things. So when you commit crimes, black man, black woman, Hispanic, and native, when you commit crimes, you got to hire them to fight your case. One is gonna uh, be your lawyer. The other one's gonna be your judge and judge you, and give you whatever sentence, life, fifteen years, ten years, whatever years they give you, man. Uh, that's how they set up their system. So you be the criminal. And they're the judges and all those things, the top lawyers. Now, they, you know how much money our people have paid out for lawyers? For lawyers and judges and to pay the court because, you know, court fees and this fees. Oh, God, oh, man. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so that's why they want to make war 
with those that keep the commandments. Those that's going to teach you to not be hoes and adulterers and, and, and sell drugs and be wicked, that's who they want to make war with. Because they, they love when you're sinning, keeps them in power. You understand? It keeps them ruling over you. It keeps them being able to drag you like this and throw you in the back of a police van and slam the door. Man. Right. And feel no way about it. Why? Because you're a thug. But who made you into a thug? Who called you to be a thug? Who gave you the drugs and the guns and said, kill your people and kill yourself? Who did, who did that, man? Who oppressed you, man? They did, man. Read up. Which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. And we testify of Christ, man. We, in the ISPK, we testify of Christ and we got the, um, the what? The testimony. We testify, man. Christ is a black man according to the Bible, man. All right, and he's coming back to judge, coming back to judge that dragon, that red dragon, man. Coming back to judge and put them, you understand, and destroy that race of people, man. That's oppressing you, man. And deliver you out of their hands, just like he did with the Egyptians. He destroyed the Egyptians and delivered you out of their hands. That's exactly what he's coming to do to these people. Read on. That's so much. Oh, um, Luke 6 and 22, hopefully, oh, sir, 23. Um, blessed are you when men shall hate you. Blessed are you when men shall hate you, man. Why are they going to hate you? Because you're a murderer? Because you sell drugs? No. Because you don't commit adultery? No. They're going to hate you because you're keeping God's laws. Man. Right. Ain't that some stuff? They're going to hate you because you love the Lord, man. You actually love the Lord. You're not just talking it like the Christians. You're actually doing thus says the Lord. You don't smoke weed no more. They're going to hate you because you don't smoke weed no more. That, that don't make no sense. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, read on. And, and when they shall separate you from their company mm -hmm. and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for they're the gonna, son of man's sake. They're going to separate you from their company. They don't even want you around them, man. Wow. That's some shiz right there, man. That's some shiz right there, man. Read that. Read that again, Salaki. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. That's a blessing, though, right? So don't take it to heart. Read on. And when they shall separate you from their company, mm. and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for and the Son of Man's sake. And they reproach, meaning hate you, man. For the Son of Man's sake. You're teaching this Bible, they're going to hate you for the Son of Man's sake, man. Son of Man is Christ, man. He's also known as the Son of God and the Son of Man, right? Because Joseph was his dad. And he's also the Son of God. Just like we're the sons of God too, man. Right. All right? Uh, but we also got our earthly dad just like he did. All right? Um, read on. So, yeah, blessed are you and men shall revile you. Read on. Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. See, when you separate yourself, Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian, and join to your own people, your reward is going to be great in heaven, man. That's right. Now, you don't need to die and go to the sky and float off in the clouds, no. When the kingdom come that we rule on this earth, when our power, when it's our time to rule this earth, you understand? You will be great on this earth. Correct. You will be great right here, man. There is a saying that down here you find heaven, and down here you find hell. And that's exactly what it is, man. That's not not the philosophy, what they told us. Not the lies that you die and you spruik and float off in the sky. No, man. We're going to rule this planet right here on this earth. You understand? And what happens is when you, when you die, you come back into that riches of life, man. You come back into that family like you was once before, man. That's you living forever in righteousness, man. All right? It just keeps turning like that. Okay? Um, read that last bit again, Salafi. Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. Mm -hmm. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. Right. So we rule in this planet. That's heaven, man. Like the white man now, the oppressor now is in his heaven. He's living large. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Larger than life, man. You know what I'm saying? We're struggling, trying to get there and, you know, chasing the Benjamin's baby. And all this stuff. We, we we struggling trying to get that little paper, man. Right. And he's living good. You understand? 
400 years of slavery, of slaving out another race and nation of people and taking all their resources and everything from them and raping them and murdering them and robbing them and, and destroying them, that will make you rich, man. That will make you be able to send your children to, to college and universities and all those things, man. That will make you rule and stay on top of them, right? And that will put you into a heavenly position on the earth, man. You understand? So guess what? We're seeking that heavenly position right here, man, where we're ruling the earth in righteousness. You understand me, then? For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. And that's what they did in the ancient time to the prophets, man. What did they do to us? Like a, one more line from there. When men shall hate you yeah, and when right. they shall separate that's, you from can't, the company. Can't, can't. They hate you and separate you from the company. Listen, man, they did that to the prophets, man. Why are they not going to do that to you? They're the same people back then, today. And you're the same people back then today. The Lord just calling you back. Those that come back, you was already with the Lord from day one, man. You understand? You're the same people. Re reincarnation or regeneration, man. Read them. That's, so That's it. Um, 23, right? Revelation 18, verse 1 to 5. Brother Chris, oh, right? Come. 18 and 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from the heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. This is your Shire, right? Read on. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devil. And the whole... Oh. So like, is that Yahushua? Read on, read on. I'm not sure if that's Yahushua. Or if that's just the, oh, the angels. So like, yeah. And the hold of every foul spirit. So Babylon is fallen, it's become a cage of every uh, 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 foul spirit, man. Read on. And the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Every nation, every wickedness, every abomination is, is gathered in this place, man. Right. All right? Every wickedness, they push it, push it. Not just letting you have your own mind and this and that and that. No, they pushing that on you, man. You got to accept homosexuals. What? You don't? Right. Sanction. This, that, that. They pushing that on you. That's oppressing you, man. They're using your colour. And saying, well, you wouldn't want someone to call you the N-word, so why do you hate saying, you know, two, two, uh, two men being together that love it? No, man, that's, 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 you can't put my colour to that. Are you yeah. mad? The hell do you get that twisted, man? One's got a sickness in their friggin' mind, and I'm born a righteous black man, and you want to talk and try and de degrade my colour. Are you crazy as hell? You friggin' bastards, man. And I'm, they're the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. That's you understand? Right. The Lord bless us with the black complexion. The Lord bless us with, with this complexion so it protects us. It protects us from the harmful rays of the sun. The sun don't harm us. You understand? We don't get skin cancer. We don't burn up in the sun and turn bright red. Understand that, man. And this is what they did in slavery. They said we were cursed with black skin, man. The oppressors told us that, man. So who's the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man? Read on. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Every nation has joined the philosophies and their wickedness, man. Every nation, every other nation and race, man. You understand? Including ours, man. And that's what the Lord is saying. We turn, separate from, uh, uh, separate from Britain and put your faith and trust in the Most High God, man. Read up. And the kings of the earth have, co have committed fornication with her. All the other nations have joined in, in, and trade in with them, you understand? And have followed their philosophies. They've accepted their way. They've accepted the oppressor's way. Okay, that's what's happening. Like, who rules the earth today? The so-called America, Britain, and so on and so forth. But all the nations follow them. You understand? Read on. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. So all the nations that trade and do business and commerce, you understand? They wax rich, man. That Asians come here and they get this business, that business there, and set up mosques and other. They wax in rich, man. Right? They trade in with them. They wax in rich. Chinese, they wax in rich, man. All these nations, the Africans, you name it, all these nations, except for you, Black Hispanics and Native Indians, you ain't waxing rich, man. You ain't got jack, man. You've been jacked. Hijacked. You understand? Even taking your goddamn spirit from you, man. And the Lord wants you to have it back, man. You got to come in here, and read on. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. What did the voice from heaven say? Come out of her, my people. Black like Hispanics and Native Indians, the, the Lord says, Come out of her, my people. You can't join them, man. Right. You ain't supposed to be joining them, man. 
who told you about oh it's love and you just and you can't help who you fall in love with listen man you better just come out of here my people if you want to live if you want to be on the right side of the lord read that again come out of her my people yeah that's what you better do read on that ye be not partakers of her sins. If you don't come out of her, my people, you will fall with her sins, man. She, the Lord's going to plague her like coronavirus and stuff. If you stay and love them, the Lord is going to plague you with those plagues, man. Right. Unless you do what? Come out of her, my people, man. That's what God said. Not my words, man. You understand me, though? That ye be partakers of her sins. That ye be what? That ye be not partakers of her That's sins. That's right. That ye be not partakers of her sins, man. Come out of her, my people. That ye be not partakers of her sins, man. The Lord's going to punish her. And now when the Lord punished that nation and you join with that nation, guess what you're going to get, man? The same punishment. Why? Because you come out of her. You didn't hear me. He didn't hear, I heard a voice from heaven saying, come out of her. And you don't want to listen. Don't want to listen to the Lord. Read up. And that ye receive not of her plagues. That's what the Lord don't want you to get that plague, man. The Lord don't want you to be punished. But if you stand in with them and standing in the way of them and all the rest of it, you're going to get that plague, man. And that, the Lord don't want you to get that plague, man. The Lord wants you to pick up the phone and phone this number, man. And get into the ICPK and learn, man. Read. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquity. <laughs> he fought the Lord have forgotten 400 years of rape, robbing and murder and hanging from trees and lynching and, and dismembering and dismaiming and chopping your limbs off from running away so you don't run. And then you thought the Lord was going to forget what, when they castrated our men and got break our men and raped our women and did all those wickedness and abominations to us, which they give us one month every year, was it August or some crap? They give us one month to say we were, uh, to, to keep reminding us that we were nothing but slaves. Uh, October, right? Nothing but we're slaves. And, and you think the Lord has forgotten. And the wind rushing us also and doing all these things and shooting us down and keeping us down. Listen, man, you thought the Lord, you think the Lord has forgotten. Or oh, you might be able to forget and join them. But you, uh, one, you better separate because you just, just read it. And two, the Lord hasn't forgotten her wickedness and her sins, man. You better understand that, man. Right. But uh, it's like you. That's it, right? Oh, crying. Crying. Yo. Yo. You understand? So yeah, man. You know what I'm doing. Almost dying, Christ, man. Um, read the. Um... Oh, you read that. That's the end. Crying. Is the security announcement. We are the ICPK, starting out of One West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under commanding Johnny Johanna. Rules for new brother and sister. When a new brother or sister comes into the school, they are off limits for six months. They are to be saluted only. They are here to shed themselves of the world. If they need transportation, the teacher will arrange it. After six months, if a brother or sister has an interest in a particular person, he or she must get permission from the head to speak to a brother or sister. There is another six months in which the brother and sister will court each other. After this six month period, the brother and sister will get permission from the head to marry. Tithes, which is a commandment. Numbers chapter 18, 21. Malachi chapter 3 verse 8 to 10 means 10th in the Hebrew, Ma'ashara. 10% of every, every penny of any increase the Lord gives you, give to the treasure department or the teacher. Priest funds is a free will offering for the priest, not mandatory. Whatsoever amount you would like to give. Upcoming holder convocations and feast of first fruits. All acumen and aqueth, remember to check the bulletin board in the hallway. And, and if anyone wants to be a trooper in the school, start so wearing all black boots. Start so wearing all black, that's boots, shirts, pants, headbands, and scarf. And with that, I imagine. <coughs> Which means to stand on the Lord's Prayer. Um, Abanao. Abanao. Shabbat Shemayan. Shabbat Shemayan. Badash. Badash. Ayah. Ayah. Shemka. Shemka. Yahawah. Yahawah. Malakovka. Malakovka. Taba'ah. Taba'ah. Ratazaka. Ratazaka. Ayah. Ayah. Aisha. Aisha. Baharataza. Baharataza. Kawa. Kawa. Ayah. Ayah. Bashamayan. Bashamayan. Nathan. Eh, Shalakia. Nathan. Nathan Lanawa. Nathan Lanawa. Lakam. Lakam. Khaw. Khaw. Yawam. Yawam. Wasalak Nawa. Wasalak Nawa. Kawabwatinawa, Kawabwatinawa, Asalakinawa, Asalakinawa, Kawabwatinawa, Kawabwatinawa, Walaa, Walaa, Tabia Ainawa, Tabia Ainawa, Manasaiwan, Manasaiw
Bon. Oh, Shana. Oh, Shana. Mayan. Mayan. Right. Right. Kaya. Kaya. Laka. Laka. Amalakwa. Amalakwa. Wa Wa Allah. Wa Allah. Wa Hupara. Wa Hupara. La Ivalomian. La Ivalomian. Aman. Aman. And in the English, our Father, which oh. are it's like it. Our Father. Our Father. Which are in heaven. Which are in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. In earth. In earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. Uh, forgive us of our sins. And forgive us of our sins. And our debts. And our debts. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not. And lead us not. And lead us not into temptation. Into temptation. But deliver us. But deliver us from evil. From evil. But that is the kingdom. But that is the kingdom. And the power. And the power. And the glory. And the glory. Forever. Forever. So be it. So be it. Come on. Shit, man. So yeah, we we'll say shalom, Israel. Shalom. 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 Shalom.